Welcome to a brand new episode of Yuya, the podcast for you members of the Itchy Soul Playground. Now, yes, if you're following along with the video version on YouTube, you will see things are a little bit different today. I'm in my car. It's getting dark. I'm sat outside the gym waiting for my youngest. And such is the noise level in our house at the moment that there isn't really an awful lot of opportunity to, to record in a way that isn't going to be punctuated by sound it's all a bit bonkers and I originally originally I was like oh well I just won't do the podcast this week but God was nudging me and has been stretching me to find ways of doing things a little bit differently and the reminder I keep getting is actually even when life is a little bit higgledy piggledy even when things are all over the place and feel different he's still there loving on you and that's the real reminder that's the the spoiler alert if you like that's the piece that it all comes back to He's love. He's there loving on you. Thing is, he's there every, everywhere anyway. And I know we know this logically and we've explored this a lot before already as well. But I, it's almost like God thinks we need a reminder. And maybe maybe there's someone watching or listening along today. Maybe you know up here in your head that God, God loves you. And you know in your heart that God loves you. But sometimes life just gets really overwhelming. And it becomes easy when that happens to doubt and Doubt's almost too strong a word, but just to start second guessing or, oh, well, maybe what if? And of course, the the whispers that we get then from the enemy that, oh, you know, you're, you, you know, did God really say that started, as we've said before, all the way back in the Garden of Eden? Did God really say that he's with you all the time, even when you're cleaning up the mess? Did God really say there's nothing that you can do that will stop him loving you? What about that time when you did X, Y, and Z? Did God really say? I'm here to remind you today that any whispers of did God really say are a lie. God loves you. Full to the top. Unconditionally, there is absolutely nothing that will stop him from loving you. And so I want to offer you a little challenge today, a little bit of homework. And I want to invite you to to go on a walk. If if circumstances will allow for this with no expectations and we if you've been listening along to the new uh, happiness hit podcast you'll have heard uh, um, digging into expectations a little bit but we're going to expand on this a little bit more I want you to think about um, or not think about at all I want you to go for a walk with God with absolutely no expectations other than the fact that he is with you and he will be with you on that whole walk and ask him to show you Show you what, you might be wondering. Show you him. Show you his love. Ask him to help you feel full to the top with his love for those real tangible examples. And then when you get home, I want you to record them in some way. Write them down. Uh, Take photos. Take your phone with you and take photos of those things. Record them in some way so that for those times when you're just sort of feeling a bit ugh, you'll have those reminders. This ties in a little bit. If you remember, I want to say this was last year sometime, we talked about... um, an SOS box. I can't remember what we called it, but it it it, it came from a um, a piece of of mental health mental health homework um, for, for want of a better expression that my youngest daughter was given. And it, oh, I know what it's called a self soothe box. She was told to start collecting those things ultimately that make her feel safe and help her smile. Those things that when she's feeling a little bit anxious will help calm her. Now I'm really delighted to say that she's actually having to go into a really good spell at the moment. So she hasn't really needed her self-soothe box in the traditional way. But what if we could create a self, self-soothe self box, that's really hard to say, a self-soothe box for our souls. And actually let's change it. It's not really a self-soothe box at all. It's a God-soothing box because you're going to do this with him. You're not going to do this on your own. You don't need to do this on your own. This is the biggest advantage that you have over somebody who doesn't have that relationship with God yet. Over, you know, somebody, God loves everybody. Like there is no doubt about that, but not everybody is in a position that they're ready to let God love them. And so you have a real advantage. As somebody who, who lets God love them, you don't have to do this on your own. So I would invite you, you're, and this is a shorter than usual episode because it, you have got this play thing and I would really love it if you did this and then give it a go and then see what comes up and let the rest of us know let's share it together because there'll be some things that you have in common with other people other things will be completely new so go for a walk with God with no expectations about what you, you're going to see or experience or hear and then ask him to show you 
and then record it in some way and then share with us. And I'm going to do the same as well. I'm candidly, I might not do it tomorrow at the time of recording because the forecast is rain. Um, But I am going to do this. I shall let you know what happens. But the nudge I keep getting is to do this free of expectations. Don't go there knowing how you expect God to show up. Keep an open mind. Ask him to open your eyes and to and your, all of your senses so that you can really experience his love in a, in a fresh way and then record it in some way and share what comes up. I should, of course, as well, have that quick housekeeping reminder. If you're somebody who follows along either on YouTube or maybe you listen to the podcast version, the audio version, if this sort of thing is exciting to you, and I hope it is, it really excites me, then I would invite you to check out the Itchy Soul Playground, uia.com forward slash join, because what we're really doing in communities is is having conversation around this stuff. We have our monthly meetups, so you don't have to do this on your own. So if that sounds like something would be interesting to you, uia.com forward slash join. In the meantime, though, thank you for following along. I shall be back soon. Take care. Bye bye.